So welcome back everybody. My name's Andrew and you're watching the Kelly's Country Life. If this is your first time visiting, thanks so much for stopping by. We make content all the time for our home and our homestead. So I almost didn't record this video, but I figured I better. Who knows how this thing right here is gonna turn out. So I just purchased one of these floor cleaners for my pressure washer because, well, we have over 1,300 square foot of porches. There's 800 more square feet on around the corner down there. So I have a tremendous amount of porch cleaning to do for the rest of my life. So I knew I wanted to get one of the pressure washer add-on floor cleaners. If you're not familiar with these, this one right here is made by a company called Twinkle Star. Yes, that's the name. By the way, I bought this. It's not a sponsored review. Like I said, I almost didn't make the video. You know, but hey, this may appeal to somebody. So as you can see, it's got a rotating uh, bar underneath with two nozzles on it. And I got this version because it was on a killer sale on Amazon. I'll put a link down in the description. It's made out of stainless steel, has really nice wheels. It just looks so much better built than all the little cheap plastic versions that you constantly see. Reviews were good too. Now I just checked, it's done shot back up in price because I called it like on one of those Amazon lightning deals, but they are offering a 30% off coupon on Amazon uh, for this thing. So you can still get it pretty reasonable, assuming it works well. That's what we're about to find out. So having as much porch as we do to clean, the last thing I want to do is come out here with one of these little nozzles in the end of my gun right here and clean that wide of a swath. It would take me hours to clean this much porch. So this supposedly cleans 15 inches at a time as that bar rotates around and those nozzles do a sweeping motion. And look how easy this is on the back. I can literally just walk around pointing this. You can get right up next to the wall. The other thing I like, it has, you see the brush around the bottom edge. So that should keep spray and splatter down from going back up underneath the siding of my house. And more importantly, the new outdoor kitchen that we're building. I don't want to kick water back up underneath there. So that's another reason I wanted one of these instead of just using a regular spray nozzle and blasting water up underneath everything. By the way, this thing says it's rated to handle up to 4,000 PSI. It's another thing I liked about this. Most of the plastic cheap versions that you see online, they're not rated to handle very much. It also comes with two metal extensions. I thought that was nice. An extra set of nozzles and uh, comes with several O-rings too. So I, I really like when they include extra accessories like that. So let's look at the porch real quick. You can see that's all like clay. We do have clay in our soil here. So there's some staining there. It's also Florida, so we have a lot of bugs. You can see we're going through a massive migration of bugs right now, and they're all smashed in the concrete. Those will not come up with the blower, so that looks nasty. You can see them all right here. Looking forward to getting all that cleaned up. And then kind of back to more of that dirt and staining. It may get some of that out, it may not. All right, let's get the old pressure washer fired up and uh, see what this bad boy will do. Okay, so the good news is I can see definitely where I'm going, see what it's cleaning up. So it's, it's making some difference, that's for sure. Getting all the bugs up, that's no problem. And I can see it's making a difference where all the clay is. That's the path that I can actually see.
All right, so it works. And to be honest with you, I didn't really know what to expect. Um, I could definitely see enough of a change in a line that was made as I was going back and forth, especially in this area that's got a lot of sand and clay grounded to the concrete to know where to keep going. Now, I think it goes without saying, but I'll say it anyways. Don't expect that to remove the amount of material that a single nozzle will. You're just gonna get a tremendous amount more pressure out of this smaller single nozzle than you will two big large ones that's also driving you know, a rotating wand. So it did an excellent job of lifting everything up. I noticed all the clay was just floating across. The problem is, unless you have an extremely sloped porch, looks like you're gonna have to come back with probably this single nozzle and blow all the junk off that it lifted up, but I should be able to do that literally in probably 60 to 90 seconds. Uh, so it looks like I need to go over the porch the entire time with this thing, slap on the single nozzle, blow all the crud off. I think that's gonna be the proper way to do this from here on out. So let's see, see what it looks like after I blow all this junk off. I'm gonna try to stay up high on the house right here so I don't wind up hitting the concrete aggressively and blowing back up underneath my side. Now the real question, is this gonna remove a whole lot more than that will? Let me see if it'll clear an additional spot that I've already went over with that little roller. Can't really tell any difference. So this doesn't seem to be any better than that at removing the really loose stuff. Now, a little bit of paint drop from seeing on the concrete, things like that, that missed. Now, if I put this right down on it and stay on it, it is removing really stuck on stuff a little better, but as far as just typical dirt grime, doesn't seem to be removing it any better than the uh, little roll around device. You do need to use an individual one like this for getting the very edge that that couldn't reach without falling off the porch and up around the post, for example. Okay, so far, so good. Not back to the original concrete, but uh, I wasn't expecting that at all. And you see these swarm of bugs that we're dealing with right now? Oh my goodness, they're just making a mess of everything. I'm probably gonna have to clean this entire porch again in just a couple of weeks. Well, let me throw this thing and fast forward and clean up this entire porch. I'm excited to see it with all this grime off of it. All right, after using this for quite a while, what do I think? So the one thing I do like immediately about using this uh, tool is everything's nice and consistent. Now I have some spots of the concrete like that and then that that I couldn't even get up with a nozzle. 
but a single nozzle is definitely more powerful as it should be than uh, using that big roll around device. So you've seen that I had to come back and actually hit a few spots. Uh, and the majority of those spots were things that were like paint, caulking, you know, construction uh, issues. So what do I think about this thing? Well, I think I'm, think I'm gonna like it. Now, to be perfectly honest with you, I think I got this for like $47 on like a, an Amazon flash sale. It's worth every penny, especially being out of stainless steel, coming with all the extra gaskets, nozzles, everything else. The normal price, which is, uh, they're on, uh, back to $99 right now. I don't know that I'd pay $99. I probably would get one of those $30 plastic ones. Uh, now with that said, they are offering a 30% off coupon right now. So have, getting this around $69, I'd probably still go with this version. It just looks so much better built than some of those like cheap plastic ones I've seen at Walmart. So one thing worth noting with this device, have your expectations in order. If you think that a double nozzle spraying at a lower power is going to clean just as well as a single nozzle hitting a spot that big, that's just not it at all. Now, the one thing I do love about this, I was just telling y'all is consistency. That's something I didn't even think about. Whenever you're out here with a single nozzle blasting this much space, what usually happens? You wind up with streaks everywhere because you got a little close through the sweep and you got farther away and then you missed a spot. Then you start rushing because you've been out here for two or three hours and you're ready to get done. And you wind up with streaks everywhere. That's something I've experienced my whole life using different pressure washers. That is not the case for this because it stays the same exact height above the concrete. And uh, as long as you go the same speed, it's gonna get a nice even pattern. There is no streaking anywhere out here. And I make sure I do a little overlap each time. The other thing I noticed with this, going about a foot a second, 1,001, 1,002, 1,000, moving along that speed seemed to be perfect for getting uh, all the dirt and grime and a little bit of you know mold and mildew that I've seen out here as well. Any slower than that, didn't really seem to clean up any, any better. Going faster than that, I noticed I did leave some dirt and stuff behind. All right, well, we're not gonna sit here and make a 30 minute video out of this thing right here. I'm gonna let this porch finish drying. I'm gonna go put something together. Since this is kind of a show and tell video, I just found a killer deal on something else I'm sure some of y'all will be interested in. Let me slap these things together and show y'all and I'll leave a link down here because I guarantee you, y'all are gonna wanna go get some of these for the price that I just found them at. It's like a summer closeout clearance. So I just bought several. All right, so check these out. No good, now clean back porch on a country style home like this is complete without some rocking chairs. So I'm gonna put a link down in the description. So I just picked these up from Walmart on a sale price for $63. By the way, that includes free two day shipping. I purchased four of them. We have two on the other side of the house, you know, as decorative rocking chairs when you pull up, but we can always pull them back here when we have company. And we purchased a couple more for us to sit on the back porch and enjoy our view. Now they have a ton of other colors and I think they're $97 with free shipping, which is still a great deal. So I'll put a link down there. I'm not affiliated with Walmart. I don't make no money off of that, but I thought I'd share that with y'all because holy cow, wooden rocking chairs for $63 shipped to the house. That's very hard to beat. I probably should have bought six now that I'm thinking about it because I have no idea how long that sale is gonna run for. So I know a lot of people watch the channel because they're looking at building their own house. That's been a big series on here. Or they're looking at building an outdoor kitchen. Anytime I run across deals on stuff like this, I'll always try to include it because since the house is so new, we're still furnishing it. We're still doing decor. We still have to do all of our outdoor back porch stuff. Um, we're gonna be shopping for stuff for a while. So I'll be more than happy to share that. If you don't follow us on mobile on YouTube, there's something called a community tab. If you subscribe to the channel and hit all the notifications, Sadly, gotta be on a mobile device. I don't know why YouTube does that, but I post pictures and stuff like this to that community tab all the time, uh, as well as pictures and updates on what's going on around the property. So you may wanna check us out on mobile, as well as if you watch us on YouTube TV. All right, thank y'all so much for watching. I'm about to get right back to work on the outdoor kitchen and waiting on a couple things to show up with UPS. So I'll get y'all another video out before long with that.